So this is my top 10 new extensions for March 2014. Uh, these are in no particular order, but just a, a nice pick of what stood out from the new section of the Joomla extension directory. And you can get to that by going to extensions.joomla.org, scrolling down to the side here, and you'll see the new extensions uh, list there where you can get to all of the brand new extensions that uh, people have submitted and have been approved for listing on the Joomla extension directory. So first off, let's start with Easy Radio. Now this is something I do a lot of. I, I, we build radio station based websites and this is one feature that uh, all the radio stations wish they uh, that always that they always want to have on their website. And this is streaming their live broadcast through their website. And this little tiny extension here, this little module allows you to embed the player so you can stream the MP3s directly from your website. How cool is that? So that's my number one and you can get to that through the show notes as well. The next one here I have is called Vic Appointments. Now, this one's quite useful. This is something that a lot of our clients have asked for in the past, and that's a booking and reservation and appointment servicing uh, system. So basically, what you can do here is go through the website, uh, set up a whole bunch of different types of uh, consultation or booking appointment schemes, and from there, the user can actually book out times, appointments, for uh, depending on what type of service they want. So if I just click on here, PC Assistance, for example, I can see here below a nice little calendar where I can choose and pick exactly when I want uh, an appointment to have my PC fixed. I can see the price there and how long the booking will take and I can click on the book now button and that will take me straight away to a payment gateway so I can pay for my booking. You can see the name and uh, confirmation numbers and confirmation details there and away it goes. So it's a really nice quick way to do appointment booking uh, for any of these types of services here that, that you can see here. Uh, employee list, beauty, uh, med medical consultation and uh, anything else you can think of. Maybe rental bookings or car bookings or lease or hire, anything around that that respect so it's quite a great uh, great uh, component and uh, I'm looking forward to actually getting my hands on that one and playing around with it a little bit more as well the next one here is Google Charts by Joomla Art this is number three they Joomla Art provide a whole bunch of really cool extensions uh, plugins and of course templates now this one here it's absolutely fantastic it allows you to pull in different types of data sets and customize how you want that data set to be uh, displayed on your website. So it uses a lot of the Google code that's out there already. And you can see here, you can pull in a specific data set from maybe a Google Docs. And that Google Docs can be displayed in all sorts of different ways from pie charts, line, geo charts, columns, and so forth. If I just pull up the demo here, you'll be able to see the different types of graphs that have been pulled up as part of the demo. We can see a nice line graph there, some bar charts here, vertical and horizontal, the geo chart, so you can pinpoint where some traffic or, or, or information is coming from around the world, and so forth. We've got some nice pie charts and 3D pie charts there as well. So that's another fantastic, fantastic module uh, brought out by the guys at Joomla Art, so thank you very much. Next one, next one here is JD Knowledge Base. This is another type of website that we get a lot of requests for and having a knowledge-based website is really good for two things. One, it helps clients and customers that are constantly asking the same questions over and over again to, to have all those questions and answers listed in one space. Having that, you can forward those answers across to the, the clients uh, or they can search your knowledge base to search for those answers even before they start engaging you. So it, it's a really good place to consolidate all your knowledge and to consolidating all of your knowledge is really important to try and streamline your business and uh, streamline your support for your customers as well. I'll just pull up the demo here and you can see how it works. It's categorized in different categories depending on how you want to organize your knowledge and information. You have your latest articles and of course you have uh, the search across the top up here. It's a nice little way to pull up all the knowledge base around uh, different types of information that you constantly have to share to your clients uh, over and over again. So it's a really effective little component to have uh, as an arsenal for uh, those types of situations. Next one here is by Tweetronics. Uh, 
Uh, now, I've used a couple of their extensions before, uh, namely Cookie Confirm, and that's an absolutely fantastic extension in regards to uh, all those cookie laws, especially the ones in Europe where you have to confirm and uh, let the user know that you're tracking their details and what they're doing on your website. Now, this one here is a little bit different. This one here is an administration uh, component or plugin that will allow you to customize different types of shortcuts in the back end. So for those tasks such as clearing the cache or global check-ins, where you have to go to the back end, go site and then go to the clear cache or a global check-in, then select multiple things, you can create shortcuts for all of that to speed things up. There's a whole bunch of types of features and ways that you can do this from uh, keyboard shortcuts, to uh, different shortcut types and all sorts of different things to really help speed up the administrative process in the back end. So instead of clicking here, here and here, just one click and it will do that process. Very, very nifty, nifty plugin extension there. So uh, please make sure you check that one out. Now, another interesting component here, we, we use a lot of download components and uh, pay for downloads. Uh, in a lot of our Joomla sites. Now this one here is a little bit of a new rebuild of this component and it allows you to organize your different different products or different uh, electronic downloads such as an ebook for example and allows your users to quickly and easily download and pay for those particular extensions or products that are listed on your website. It's laid out in a very, very nice way and very clear and easy to understand way of doing it. I can click on purchase and download and it will take me directly to the different download or payment options for this particular product, uh, as you can see there. So check this one out if you're setting up a, an extension shop or a digital download service. This is a great one to have a look at and have a look, play around with if you're setting up something like that. Okay, extension number seven, Unite Response Tile Gallery. Now these guys built some awesome jQuery based plugins and modules and this again is no exception. This is an absolutely fantastic way of displaying images in a nice little gallery, especially if those images are landscape or portrait or mixed, mixed of those variations. So we can see here we have some square uh, rectangular layouts of the images and you can see here that the tile gallery has laid them all out quite nicely. So this is another one to keep an eye on and have a little play with as well. I absolutely like. Number eight here, uh, Brilliant Instajum. Now this is for all of those fans out there that absolutely love Instagram or if you're working on a client's website that is engaging heavily on Instagram and you want to try and promote their Instagram network. A lot of people know that the Instagram network is extremely popular and can, can form quite a large fan base and create a lot of traffic. So it is definitely worth engaging on. Now we can see here in the demo sites that the Instagram images appear here in the module and there's a couple of different options and different ways that the Instagram images can display as well. So it integrates in with the Instagram API. So you will need to play around with a little bit and follow the documentation instructions. Okay, uh, I'll just click on this and you can see that it clicks away to the Instagram page where I can follow and engage with uh, the, the producer of, or, or, or the Instagram account itself. Next here, I have JA Promo Bar, another extension or plugin by, by the guys at the Joomla Art team. Now this one here puts in a nice little bar across the top of your site so that users can see what promos you're running at the moment. So that's JA Promo Bar, make sure you check that one out as well. Last but not least, number 10, Parallax Scroller, or Parallax Scroll, I should say. This module allows you to create these fantastic parallax effects on your website. Now, if your template that you're using doesn't have those effects, but you really want to take advantage of it, this will allow you to enable those nice multi-layered parallax effects on your website quickly and easily without modifying too much in your template itself. I'll just pull up the demo here so you can have a look at it. So if I start scrolling, all these layers will start animating and scrolling at different rates. So I'll just scroll down a little bit and we can see already some of the layers starting to animate, twist with a little bit of help of CSS3. I can keep on clicking down, I can use a little side scroller here and it will take me through the different elements of the website. 
go down further and I can see if I keep scrolling that the parallax effects are coming into effect and look quite nice as well. So that's my top 10 extensions for March 2014. You can find out more at joomla.be.at and there you can find the podcast, the video cast and, and all of the reviews for all of these extensions and much, much more. Thanks. Until next time. Bye.